Hello, I'm David Longmuir. I'm a technical editor here at Microsoft and in this video I'm going to show you two ways to remove an item from search results. Here's the scenario. One of the managers at Contoso, Ken Meyer, has put a Word document about some proposed factory closures up on the SharePoint site and he didn't remember to set permissions. So this sensitive document is appearing in search results and I want to immediately remove it from the index. In a perfect world, I'll only have to remove one item, and the quickest way to do that is by using the crawl log. Here's how. In Central Administration, I click Manage Service Applications. On the Manage Service Applications page, I click the Search Service Application. And now on the Search Administration page, I click Crawl Log. And on the Crawl Log page, I switch to the URL view. Now I click the option to search by the URL or host name. You can see that I can scroll down through all of the items until I find the item that I'm looking for, but fortunately Ken sent me the URL so I can search for it. Because this is a document that's in a SharePoint library, I have to use the encoded form of the URL, and I've got both of the forms of the URL here in Notepad. I copy the encoded URL, I go back to the crawl log page, and I paste in the URL, and then click search. And here's the URL for the document, along with the item ID. I point to the URL, click the arrow that appears, and then click remove the item from the index. And that's all I'd have to do if it were a perfect world. But let's find out what the search results really show. I type my query. And look, it's not a perfect world because there are multiple instances of the document, and not just in Word. There's also a text version uh, in a file share down here. So I have to remove several items, and here's how to do that. I go back to Search Administration. And in the Quick Launch over here, I click Search Result Removal. On the search result removal page, I'm going to want to paste the URLs, each one on a separate line, here in this box. So, I go back to my search results, find the Word document, and click View Duplicates. Then I point to the first instance, right-click and copy shortcut to get the encoded URL, go over to a Word document that I've opened, and I paste in the URL. So, why Word and not Notepad? because later when I paste the URLs into the box on the search results removal page, I have to have everything in lowercase. And Word has a really cool feature that lets me toggle case, and I'll show you that. Now I've got all of the Word documents and the text file that's in this file share, and now we want to get everything in lowercase. In Word, I select all the URLs, now I press Shift plus F3, and that toggles between title case, uppercase, and lowercase. Now that I have everything in lowercase, I copy and paste into the box over here. There they are, and I click Remove Now. So let's see what happened. I go back to Search Administration, and I click Crawl Rules. And see? Now we have a crawl rule for each item that excludes that item from future crawls. Now I search on factory again, and the sensitive items do not appear. You can leave feedback on this video or on any of our TechNet content by clicking the rating and feedback control at the top of the article. Uh, or you can write to us at searchdx at microsoft.com.